Last time, we rearranged the lower manual so that the tones were an octave lower, and rearranged some of the wiring on the drawbars so that they matched the upper manual drawbars. Today, we're going to take the drawbar assembly off of the organ, move the pegs around so that the colors match, and then later we're going to completely disassemble it so we can clean the bus bars and grease the drawbars. So let's get started. We need to take the music rack off first. Now, there are two small screws to the right of the drawbar assembly and just to the left of this end cheek block here that we need to take those out. This is going to take this bar out. Okay. This is important because we don't want the whole assembly to come apart on us right now. So these four sets of bolts with a hex head and washers below them are what hold the assembly in place. We're going to take those out first. Do not take out these small screws that line it. Those hold the, uh, the connectors that keep the bus bars up against the top of the assembly and you don't want to remove those. So we're going to take out the bolts first. This last one is a set of two just like the others but the one in the top is extremely difficult to get to because this lid doesn't come off. So uh, when I did some previous work on it, I just didn't put it back because it's so hard to get off. But if you have not removed it, what you're going to have to do is unscrew this manual and lift it up slightly, go around back and take the bolt out like that. It's a pain. So I would recommend not putting it back because it's not, it's not necessary as long as you have the rest of the bolts. And now you can see the assembly is loose. All right, I don't like to desolder things unless I have to, so we're going to try not to. Um, the first thing we're going to do is take each of the caps off and take the drawbars out. As you can see, I have labeled each of the drawbar cords so that when they're all off, we don't get them confused. The caps just have a little screw in the bottom there that unscrews. Cap comes off. Now we're going to very gently take it out. When you get to the end, there's a spring. Push down on the spring as you pull it out. And you might be able to see two little nodes there. And that's the connection. There's a really fine spring that runs between them, and you don't want to break that because replacing it is a pain. So be gentle with it, and we're going to go ahead and do that for the rest of them as well. Now that we have all the drawbars taken out and the pegs up top in order, it's time to take off the top part of the assembly so that we can clean the bus bars. The way we're going to do that is taking off these two sets of screws. They're bigger than the other ones and they have nuts on the bottom. So all we're going to do is unscrew those.
Now that we've gotten all those off, this little bar comes off, and the whole thing comes apart very nicely. That's a lot of dirt. These little plastic pieces here are the drawbar guides. I'm just kind of set them off in order. And they only go in one way so you can't screw it up. Now you can see the contacts. Each of these drawbars makes contact on these little grooves right here. These hold the draw bars, the bus bars in place, which is why you don't want to take these screws out, because as soon as you do, the bus bars go all over the place and you have to put them all back in. So now we're going to get a contact cleaner and an old toothbrush and scrub each of these down because they have got some grime on them. So all we're going to do is give it a little spray and start scrubbing. And I don't know if you can see how much more clean that is, but the answer is significantly. Now I've got some nice shiny bus bars. We've got some good contact. Uh, here's what the toothbrush looks like now. Uh, not too pretty, so you can see how dirty they were. And these were actually fairly clean from uh, comparison to uh, some of the other ones that I've seen online. So now it's time to put everything back together. There's that, put the rail back, let's get those screws in place. Now we've got the assembly put back together, so it's time to start adding the draw bars back in, and as we do, we're going to very lightly grease them with some silicone grease. You can find it at Home Depot, it's used on sink faucets. And we're going to put it on that little track right there on the top, and on the sides, and on the bottom, where it makes contact. Not on the numbers, not on the spring, just on the sides and on the bottom. And then we'll put them all back in place. I've got the upper manual finished now, and I just wanted to point out that if, uh, if some of these are not sliding as easily as they should, don't freak out because as soon as we screw it back down, everything will fit nice and tightly in a place and it'll, it'll slide like normal. Also notice that I've changed the order of the lower manual drawbar pegs. I ordered another brown peg uh, off of eBay and used the other brown peg from the base drawbar, which I'm no longer using. So we got the two brown and we've got everything else in order and it'll be exactly the same as the upper manual up to the one foot. That may be a later project. Okay, so we now have the lower manuals drawbars in place where we want them in our new order. Nice and smooth, a little clicky, 
but that will fix up once we mount it, which we shall do right now. All right, drawbar assembly is back in place, so let's put the key rail and the music rack back in. Cleaning the bus bars has made a huge difference. All the draw bars have even volumes now. Uh, it sounds a lot more full with all of them pulled out. Uh, there were It was just way dirtier than I thought and it makes a big difference in the tone. I'm not sure what's going to be next. I think I may recap the vibrato box. At some point we're going to do a full fold back and tapering on the manuals. Stay tuned and we'll let you know what's going on.